Good morning, everyone. My name is Carolyn McEwen Fish. I am an ordained minister and licensed practitioner with the Center for Spiritual Living in Chico. And it's my pleasure to present a mindful meditation this morning for our Sunday service. And so I welcome all of you and thank you for being here. This morning, it's my um, pleasure to present a meditation from the book, Metaphysical Meditations by Paramahansa Yogananda, who is often referred to as the father of yoga in the West. And this little book has um, always been one of my favorite. And his, uh, his meditations are just really deep and wonderful. And so I, I do want to share that with you, but this morning, um, because it's the week before Thanksgiving, uh, I'd like to just do a relaxation, uh, some relaxation techniques. So to help us relax and then enter into uh, the words that he speaks and then just uh, take some uh, silent moments to continue to know that the words that he has spoken is deeply in your heart and can provide an avenue for a spiritual sense of belonging in our universe. So please join with me. And if you'd like to close your eyes, if you choose, let's start with some deep breathing. As we breathe in, very prana of life. We breathe out, exhale and let go of perhaps the busyness of the morning. And allow ourselves to relax. And with another deep cleansing breath, we breathe in. and breathe out. Knowing that with each breath that we breathe, that sense of relaxation is deepening. And so from the relaxation that the breath takes through our face, just imagine the breath entering into all of the muscles in the face and they're relaxing and letting go. And then that breath continues down into your shoulders. If you want to bring your shoulders up to your ears, tight, tight, and then relax and let go. And let that sensation of being relaxed move into your arms and your hands. And if you like, you can clench your fists make them tight, 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 tighten your forearms and then let go and feel the rush of the energy. And then that breath, as we continue to breathe, moves into the area of the chest. And again, the deep breathing allows us to relax more fully, moving into the area of the stomach, the solar plexus, on down through the buttocks and our thighs. Tightening those muscles and then relaxing, letting go. Allowing that sense of relaxation to move into your calves. And then perhaps turning your toes up and stretching those muscles and then letting go and relaxing. And then take another deep cleansing breath. And listen to the words of Yogananda. And allow your mind to move into the scenery that is being uh, verbalized. And 
see if you can allow this sense of what he calls the beginning meditation to take hold in your heart. And again, as we lock the eyelid doors and shut out the wild dance of tempting scenes, let your mind drop into the bottomless well of your heart. Hold the mind on your heart that is bubbling with life-giving blood. Keep your attention tied to the heart until you feel its rhythmic beat. With every heartbeat, feel the pulse of almighty life. Picture the same all-pervading life knocking the heart door of millions of human beings and of billions of other creatures. The heart throbs constantly meekly announces the presence of infinite power behind the doors of our awareness. The gentle beat of the all pervading life says to you silently, do not receive only a little flow of my life but expand the opening of thy feeling powers. Let me flood thy blood, body, mind, feelings, and soul with my throbs of universal life. And as we continue in the silence, you can continue to watch your breath. If you tend to wander, bring your awareness back to your heartbeat, feeling the pulse of this almighty life that is right within each one of us.
And as we bring our awareness back into the room, let yourself be present. knowing that you have done your spiritual work this morning. And because it is Thanksgiving week, receive the flow of this infinite life, revealing through you the horn of plenty of Light, life, love, peace, power, beauty, joy, and wisdom. We are entitled to the kingdom. And it's ours to receive. So God bless you in your journey. Namaste. So it is. <laughs>